let's see how you can start something on your Mac and then move over to your phone. For example, if I go to the calendar and I open up an event to start editing that event, on the home screen on the phone, we really don't see anything right off the top. Let me just move the screen a little bit to the left so that we can see the phone better. So to get to the same activity, I have to have my phone close to my Mac, which I do. I'm going to go into the application switcher and to the left of the home screen, you should see the current activity that you see on the Mac. And in this case, it's the calendar. So tapping on that big, huge rectangle will bring the calendar to that same event that you're editing. You can also jump to an activity from the locked screen on your phone. So let me go to the home screen first. On the Mac, I'm going to quit the calendar and I'm going to lock my phone. Now I have to keep the phone moving so it doesn't go to sleep. On the Mac, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into mail. On the phone, you don't see any activity happening. But on the Mac, let me start a new message. And as soon as I start a new message, take a look at the bottom of the screen. Now I see that little tiny mail icon. What you have to do there is just tap that icon and push it up. And as you saw on the Mac, the draft message actually closed and literally got sent over to the phone. So on the phone, I can continue the work. Now it's really tedious to type on the phone. So this time around, I'm going to go back to the Mac. Take a look at the left of the dock, to the left of the Finder icon. That is the activity that is happening on the phone. If I tap on that activity, in the case of mail, it opened up the draft. It filled up the information that I had already filled up. On the phone, it actually closed the draft. And now I can continue finishing this email on the Mac. Right now, there is no activity on either of the devices. I am not writing an email on any of the two devices, even though Mail is a forward application on both devices. Check this out. On the phone, I'm going to go to the home screen. And this time around, I'm going to open up Safari. On the Mac, to the left of the Finder icon on the dock, you see now Safari. But check this out. If I go to the phone and I switch to another activity, let's say browsing the maps, Take a look at what happened to the icon on the left of the dock. It now switched to the maps. So once an activity actually starts, then you can continue that activity on the other device. In the case of the maps, it's pretty neat. Check this out. I can switch over. Let's zoom in to Seattle. Switch over to Hybrid View. And then continue on the Mac. It switches to the same location, to the same view. Now on the Mac, let me change this to a regular map view. And on the phone, just moving a little bit to the left, I'm going to double tap the home button, scroll to the left of the application switcher, and go back to the same maps application, even though I was already in maps. As you can see, it just takes me to the exact same view.